Japan considers force against North Korean missile threat. Japan has warned that it may drop restrictions on the role of its military to combat the increasing threat from North Korea's development of long-range ballistic missiles. Defense Minister Itsunori Onodera said he would consider allowing Japan's self-defense forces to acquire the capability to attack North Korean missile bases. The United Nations has imposed new sanctions in an attempt to deter more nuclear tests and missile launches. But North Korea insists it won't negotiate while it faces threats from the U.S. U.S. bases can now shoot down drones. The Pentagon says that more than 133 military installations in the United States will now be allowed to shoot down drones that could endanger aviation safety or pose other threats. Prominent locations, including the Pentagon and Washington, are already no drone zones in June. The British government brought a new regulation stating all drones have to be registered and users must take a safety awareness test. Previously authorities placed restrictions on drone flights near some British military bases to avoid collisions with aircraft. WW1 poppies populate Welsh National Assembly. A memorial made up of thousands of ceramic poppies has been unveiled at the home of the Welsh National Assembly in Cardiff to commemorate the centenary of the First World War. The Weeping Window sculpture is one of two works taken from blood-swept lands in seas of red that was originally displayed at the Tower of London in 2014. 888,246 poppies were displayed for every death in the British and colonial forces between 1914 and 1918.